Hello, and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Mrs. Parker, and today we're going to learn about volume. The following activity is based on Graham Breath Fletcher's three-act task. During today's three-act task, packing sugar, you should be able to solve the volume of a box of sugar cubes. Before we get started, go grab a piece of paper and a pencil to work along with us. To get our brains thinking about math, we are going to do a warm up activity called Which One Doesn't Belong? Look at the four pictures. Three of the pictures go together in one way, while the fourth one does not belong. There isn't a wrong answer as long as you can explain why. Are you ready? Which picture doesn't belong and why? Number one doesn't belong because it follows a pattern while the other three don't. Number two doesn't belong because there's only 20 cubes while the others have 30 cubes. Number three doesn't belong because it has two layers while the others only have one layer. Number four doesn't belong because it's under the top three instead of next to the others. What other ones did you think of? In a moment, you're going to watch a video. As you watch, what do you notice and what do you wonder? What are some things that you noticed while watching this video? I noticed that one cube is small. I noticed that about three cubes would fit the width of the box. What are some things that you wondered while watching the video? I wonder how many cubes would fit in the box. I wonder if all the cubes are the same size. I wonder if the box is full. The main question we're going to solve is how many sugar cubes would fit in the box, or what is the volume of the box in sugar cubes? Before we solve the problem, we're going to make an estimate. Before we solve this problem, I want you to make an estimate. But I want you to think of an estimate that is too high as well as too low. Think about the video and what we already know to make your estimate. When you're thinking about your estimates, remember to think about the reasonableness of your estimates. An unreasonable low estimate would be 50 because I can visualize 50 cubes fitting into the box. An unreasonable high estimate would be 500 cubes because the box is too small to hold that many. What is your too high, too low, and your estimate for the number of cubes that would fit in the box. Think back to our question. In order to solve this problem, you need some information. What do you need to know in order to answer this question? First of all, let's notice some things inside the box. What do you notice about the sugar cubes in the box? I notice that the cubes are all the same size. I notice that there is no space in between each cube. When we find the volume of a container, we need to know the length, the width, and the height. What measurements or dim dimensions does this picture tell us? This picture shows us two dimensions. It shows us the length, which is six sugar cubes, and the width, which is three sugar cubes. What other piece of information do we need to solve this problem? 
We also need to know the height of the cubes in the box. The height of the box in cubes is 11 sugar cubes. Now that you have this new information, try to solve the problem. How many sugar cubes are in the box? Or what is the volume of the box? Use your paper and pencil to solve the problem. If you're having a hard time, that's okay. Let's think about the dimensions we know. We know the length, the width, and the height. Think about what we need to do to find the area of an object. When we find the area, we multiply the length times the width. What do we do to find volume? We multiply the length times the width, but then by the height as well. Now try to find the volume of the box in sugar cubes.
The volume of the box in sugar cubes is 198 cubes. The volume of the box is 198 cubes. Before we go, let's reflect. How did revealing new information change your thinking? What are some containers at home that would have volume? In this episode of Math Matters, we learned about how to find the volume of a box. I'm Mrs. Parker. Thank you for watching and have a great day.